I'm good. How are you? We're so excited about you coming out to the Love and Laughter Valentine's Day show this Tuesday. Yes, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We'll get a chance to go back a little bit, sing some new stuff, some old stuff. It's going to be great. What is your favorite song of all time, or what song do you like to perform the most? You know, I love performing Why I Love You So Much. Right. It's, it's one of my absolute favorites, and Angel of Mine is another one. I got a couple, and they all are very different. Well, I'll tell you something, uh, Monica. You're performing with Olivia. Uh, you're also, Naughty by Nature is going to be there. Comedian Ari Spears. It's going to be a great time. Everybody needs to go get your tickets right now. There's still a few tickets left. I think it's the perfect way to celebrate Valentine's Day. It is. It is. You know, it's, it's going to be different for me because my husband and I always find our way to each other on Valentine's Day, but not this one. He'll be at work and I'll be at work. But Dang, Joey! Joey Joey Franchise is in here and he just said he wanted to meet Shannon Brown so bad on Tuesday. We were hoping you would bring him. Please do. Bit, I was a big Laker fan. I know he's on the Suns, but he was a big part of that championship run, those two back-to-backs. Oh, thank you. He won't be able to be there. To- oh, man. I'm Act- telling myself what up, though. <laughs> I would definitely do that. I'll definitely do that. They have a game, so he won't be there, but at least I have a lot of people to show me some love because it is the love and laughter night. Oh, okay. All right. So since you are newly married, uh, what what do you make sure to do on Valentine's Day? Like, I know you're not going to be able to see each other this year um, on Valentine's Day, but what do you do that's special to celebrate Valentine's Day? You know, the main thing, I think, is to do a lot of stuff every day instead of just on one day. I think I've kind of learned that people like to be shown appreciation all the time, especially being that he's a really, really good husband. He's attentive, and he does a lot of things that I like. So now that I've learned all the things he likes, he loves home-cooked meals. So I do it all the time, and on Valentine's Day, I do it a little more extreme. I'll kind of do a variety of things he likes. I always get him something, and, you know, I always make sure that he does not know what it is. I like surprising him with things. He's says he's never experienced surprises, and my family's big on that. And then, of course, the other stuff is not PG-13 enough to explain, but we are making... Oh, explain it, Monica. We want to hear all about it now. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, you know, heels on, special stuff, late at night is really fun. No, okay, I'm sure, I'm sure. What's his favorite thing for you to cook? Fried chicken. Fried chicken, okay. Uh, Monica, I'm so surprised that you came out with a song with Brandy. We played it this week for the 5 o'clock exclusive. It's called It All Belongs to Me. Uh, what what made you want to work with Brandy again? You know, it, it was something that I look back at and I recognize that we just did not give the boys mind what we should have. We were young. Yeah, but that was such a big song. It was a huge song. It was a big song, but we never even performed it. We performed it once in 1998 at the MTV Music Awards. We never toured together. We never even took time out to perform the song because we could barely stay in the room long enough with one another. So Yeah, why did you two not like each other? We, to this day, don't have a clue. And, I mean, I guess that goes back to being 16 and 17 years old. Um, was it jealousy? Was it envy, you know, over each other's careers? Like, what was it? Because we were total opposites. It, by no means was it jealousy or envy. My, I think what it is is she and I are polar opposites, and instead of embracing that, I think we took our differences as reasons not to be amongst each other. And then, too, it was also cliques. You had cliques back then, and if my clique didn't like your clique, that's the way that it was. And it's real unfortunate because they still do it today with artists. A lot of times it stems from and starts with the press because for whatever reason, they always try to, they try to pit one person against the other. Yes, and it basically fueled our camps and our, our you know, respective people to be very adamant about us not being in each other's space. And it generated this whole feeling of tension, which made us eventually not like each other because I've never wanted to be her or like her, and she's never wanted to be me or like me. We embrace who we are, but we found that with them creating that made us just not care for one another. And it was really silly because we never met until we we went to the studio to record The Boy's Mind, so there was no reason for it. And looking back at it, it was so silly and so juvenile that we're dedicated to this song in a different way. We're dedicated to a a, a tour in the summer. We're dedicated to... Oh, you're going to go on tour with Brandy? Yeah, we're working on that now and trying to find different sponsors and people that will get us in the cities we feel like we should be in. So it's not just as easy as saying it, but we're actually putting forth the effort to try and make sure it happens. So 
we, we're dedicated to this song in a different way because now we're old enough to know that there's strength in unity and there's strength in numbers. So us coming together is something that is actually enjoyable now. You know, we both have kids. We talk about them. We have a good time. We didn't do that the first time. We never experienced the boys' mind. And you got a brand new album coming out? Yes. April 10th is the new album. It's titled New Life. And the and the song with Brandy will be on that album? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, congratulations on everything, Monica. Brand new album coming out in April. Uh, brand new song with Brandy. In fact, we'll get into that in just a few minutes. It's called It All Belongs to Me. And uh, we'll see you on Tuesday at the Love and Laughter Valentine's Day show. Yes, yes. I'll be there. Make sure y'all come out. We got a few tickets left. Come join myself, Olivia, uh, Tretch, Vinny. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be a real good time on Tuesday. Well, thank you, Monica, for checking in today. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, hon.